As those in South Carolina continue to heal after the shootings that took the lives of nine parishioners, it's moments like these that truly take breath away and give all of us hope that love conquers hate. A photographer captured a young white child hugging a black stranger during a free hug demonstration right outside the Mother Emanuel Church. That child was photographer John Nettles' son. And John Nettles joins us from Charleston now. Uh, tell me a little bit about the lead up to taking that picture. Uh, so um, my church, uh, Awaken Church, was hosting like a large gathering in Hampton Park. So anybody can come and just worship and just, you know, kind of remember what was going on. And so we decided we were gonna go down there for that. And all the other churches around were gonna ring their bells at 10 o'clock. And so while we were down here, we heard some singing, which we assumed came from uh, the AME church behind me. And so we were gonna check it out. We we're gonna see what was going on and see if we could be a part of that. And on our way, we saw these two uh, girls holding the, the free hug sign. Um, and I just wanted to get a, a picture of it. And before I, I had a good opportunity, my son decided he was gonna run up and give them a hug. <laughs> now, can he read? Did he know what those signs say? No, no, he's, he's three. I mean, he, he definitely couldn't read what their signs said. He must have already heard you say something about free hugs. He was a little bit behind me, I think. Maybe he saw them hugging some other people because they, they were already hugging a couple of people before I got up to them. So maybe he saw that and he just thought, why not? <laughs> so Parker ran up and gave a perfect stranger a hug, which anyone with children knows, you know, that is a hit or miss moment with a three-year-old, whether they would hug a stranger in the first place. Why did this take on such significance to you that your son was reaching out and hugging not only a stranger, but someone with different color skin than him? Right. I think just the, the pure innocence of it um, just kind of got to me. Uh, I realized it was a kind of a big deal, like when I took the picture, uh, but it happened so fast I couldn't really process it. So it wasn't until I got home and I started looking at the images and started editing them to post on Facebook that I realized that this was, this was like the, a beautiful uh, showing of just the, the type of Christ love that we try to teach him to just love everyone. You know, we, that's, that's how we raise them is just to, to love everybody. And in fact, so. you said on Facebook that it was rather hard for you to edit this picture. Why was that? Yeah, because it was just so beautiful and moving, you know? He's a little white boy and he was hugging uh, a black stranger, which is kind of a big deal uh, based on what's going on right now, you know? You know, it was interesting in court last week when we saw Dylan Roof um, come out and, and there was a bail hearing for at least the weapons charge. And the granddaughter of one of the victims stood up in court and said, hate won't win. Is this just an indication? Is Charleston going to be better and, and stronger moving forward, more loving, more tolerant, more understanding? Absolutely. I think that's why the images was, was shared so much uh, so far, because that picture uh, embodies, you know, it shows exactly what everyone in Charleston's feeling, which is just everybody is just loving everybody else. It's, it's, it's really quite amazing right now, and love is definitely going to win. Thousands and thousands of views, and again, you know, they always say a picture is worth a thousand words. John Mendels, it seems like you captured that picture. Thank you so much for sharing your story <laughs> and that of Little Parker as well. Thank you.